So this is the first year we've ever looked at the top paid Oscar nominated actors and actresses. Normally, we just look at the top paid actors and actresses across the whole entertainment industry. And historically, those folks are not getting nominated for Oscars. Um, those are the folks doing big budget action films, superhero movies. Those are not necessarily the, the folks doing prestige Oscar bait. But we did decide this year to take a look at these nominees. And our theory kind of proved true that you, you have to decide, do you want to make a prestige film for the sake of art or because it's an important message or because you want to win an award like something like Trial of the Chicago 7 or Ma Rainey's Black Bottom or do you want to choose money I want to do something like the Fast and Furious movies or Wonder Woman. For some perspective all five top earning Oscar nominated actors made a collective 41 million over the past 12 months. Last year, the top paid actor, Dwayne Johnson, earned $87.5 million in just 12 months. So it's, that's more than double what these five combined actors mean. So there, there really is this dichotomy in Hollywood. Sasha Baron Cohen, I think, is the most surprising. He's the top paid actor with 22 million this year. And most of that, almost all of it, is coming from Borat, the subsequent movie film. And he is nominated for that film for screenwriting, but I think it kind of is just funny. You know, that project is mockumentary. It, it, and, and to think that that is how he's making most of his money rather than the prestigious trial of the Chicago 7, that was pretty surprising and, and funny. Viola Davis is number two with seven million, and she was the only person on this list who was also on last year's list of top paid actors or actresses. And that's honestly mainly because of how to get away with murder. She can command top dollar for that, and she also has a L'Oreal campaign. What she's nominated for, which is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, she actually was, you know, probably only got paid around three million for that. And that's even after coming off of her last August Wilson adaption for Fences, which she won an Oscar for. So that's kind of interesting that the small screen is actually paying her the big bucks. Chadwick Boseman comes in at 5 million, number three on our list. He died tragically in August from colon cancer at age 43. But if you hear stories from people on set with him, he gave it his all until his final days. And he is nominated for his final film, which is Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which he stars in alongside Viola Davis. It was released posthumously. And because he's such a certified commercial star, he really could command three or four million dollars for that role, which is impressive for such a small budget. This is his first Oscar nomination though. And he also collected a check this year for a supporting role in Spike Lee's The Five Bloods. An Oscar win or even a nomination can be the perfect mix of publicity and validation to increase future earnings potential. Take someone like Angelina Jolie, who won the Oscar in 1999 for her performance in Girl Interrupted. Prior to that, she was starring in independent films, not really these big blockbusters. But in 2001, after that Oscar win, she played the titular character in Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. By 2004, she was commanding $10 million per role. And last year, she was the world's second highest paid actress with $35.5 million in earnings. And she made around $20 million just for her one role in Maleficent 2.